Josh, that is, this is jo- oh, Sorry. Uh, helium. Uh, hi there, my brain watch does. This is Josh with Heritage. Coming at you today. Hello there. Um, yes. So today, I, there was this woman, and I love her dearly, and she will not wear a hijab. There's not, okay. So let me first, let me get, let's, let me, fi- let me, let me square this way before we even get started on this, okay? There is a head covering called the hijab, and basically it's a full hair thing that goes all the way around your hair and then goes under your neck and covers up any chest, chestal area, cleavage that might show edge. Okay, and that's the, it's, it's like, I don't want to tell you something, it is the most modest head covering I've ever seen, it is, and ironically, the only ones that wear it, or the ones that primarily wear it, are the Muslims, Islam owns it, it seems like, Islam owns the, the most modest head covering there is, so anyway, uh, so they, they got this head, the hijab, now, the reason, now I don't have a problem if you wear a head, a hijab or a titchel or any, you wear a nun, uh, the nun habit thing. I don't care what you wear. Honestly, I don't. The issue was, is why she wouldn't wear a hijab. And this is, this is the part that kind of irked me. The reason this woman would not wear a hijab is because she didn't want to be associated with Muslims. She thought it was a poor witness. And I'm thinking to myself, how is that a poor witness? There's no way wearing a hijab can be a poor witness. Let, let's go through a little role-playing scenario here, okay? I'm on a bus. I'm a woman on a bus. I'm a woman on a bus, and I have my hair covered, and I'm wearing a full hijab, okay? And I'm on this bus. And this woman looks at me, and she looks at me a little bit weird. She's looking at me like, what? the heck are you? And and I'm smiling to myself because I know exactly what's messing her up because I'm a Christian, but I look like a Muslim, but I'm not acting like a Muslim. So she comes up to me and asks me, well, are you Muslim? And I get to say, no, I'm not Muslim. I'm actually a Christian. Now, What's great about this is we have now opened a spiritual dialogue with a completely perfect stranger. Isn't that awesome? We now get to talk about spiritual things with somebody we never even would have had an option with. Now, let's say I'm a normal woman and I wear like a titchel, okay, and, 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 and which is just basically in the back and, and a little bun in the back and I'm getting on a bus. Okay, I'm on a bus. Now, somebody says that, oh, she must have a bad hair day. Okay, now I have a bad hair day. She, that's what she's thinking. I just had a bad hair day, covered my hair, just so I don't have to worry about it. We're on the bus, I get to my destination, I leave. You have never talked to that woman because she get to play it off like it was something else. She had a reason why you wore it. And that's fine, I have no problem with that. But don't tell me wearing a hijab is a bad witness. Because I'm going to tell you something, wearing a hijab is an awesome witness. Uh, the best witnessing tools are any time you can break stereotypes. If you can ever break a stereotype in your life and let everybody know it, they're going to be wondering, what the heck is going on with that person? Because... Every time you break a stereotype, they're like, they get curious. And if they get curious, they ask questions. And if they ask questions, you get to share with them about God. And that's awesome. That's what we want. I spat on the camera. I don't understand it. It just seems like vanity. What is so wrong with looking like a Muslim? Are you... I, I don't understand this. And the only reason I can even think or fathom is that people don't want... To be associated with him. It seems like that's not a very Christian mentality to have. I mean, like, I don't know. I, I just, like, they're Muslims. It's not a big deal if you look like a Muslim. Where does it say in Scripture, thou shalt not dress like a Muslim? No, it says thou shalt dress modestly and cover your hair. Well, the Muslims dress modestly and they cover their hair. They cover their hair and they dress more modestly than most Christians do. The vast majority of Christians. So I would think as a woman, it would be a compliment to be considered a Muslim because then you know that you are dressed modestly and you have covered your hair. Okay? So I'm going to just put this out there. I mean, like... There's nothing wrong with wearing a titchel. There's nothing wrong with covering your hair normally. But don't tell me the reason you won't wear a hijab is because it's a poor witness. It's not. It's the best witnessing tool you could have. The more you separate yourself from the world, 
the more people are going to be curious. And if they can't come up with a reason why you're wearing something or looking different than everybody else, they're going to ask questions. And as soon as they ask questions, you get to tell them about your faith. You get to tell them about your belief system. You get to share with them God. That should be our whole purpose. Our whole reason for doing all this is that we get to share our beliefs with some random person. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't hide your candle under a bushel. Put it on a lamppost so that all can see it. Okay? If you, and the thing is, you're going to get persecuted. But blessed are the persecuted. If they hate you and revile you, know that they hated me first. We're doing God's will. And when we do God's will, you know what? Well, we're going to cause some waves. And if you're not causing waves, you're doing something wrong. So I, I, I put this out there. I put this out there so that we all know that we are supposed to, we're supposed to, we're supposed to be the example for God. And we're supposed to be this, this beacon of light. And, and we want people to be curious about our faith. If they're not curious about our faith, then we're doing something wrong. We are here to witness a ministry of reconciliation. We're supposed to reconcile people back to God. Anyway. Enough of me talking at you. I'm the heretic. I'll talk at you later. Peace out. Wazaka! You want to see yourself? Is that the issue? Yeah, because I want to see myself.